Hello guys and welcome back to Excelsior Academy. So today we'll be starting new topic, the cytoskeleton and the cell movement. So here, as you can see here also in this figure, you can see it's like it looks really very beautiful, you know, with all those different colors and all. So uh, these fluorescent tags, which we have, which we see over here right now, like there are, you know, three proteins, which is being getting tar tagged over here. So is session we have kya dekhenge? Like how the cytoskeleton proteins, what are those cytoskeleton here? The actin filaments, intermediate filaments and the microtubules, right? So we are going to study about these. And if you remember, I mentioned the cytoskeleton as the highways which forms in the cell. Uh, so that these vesicles or the organelles can move from one place to another. Okay. And uh, actin filaments are responsible for maintaining the 3D structure of your cell. So in this session, we'll see like how the cytoskeleton proteins are helping in maintaining the structure, unka kya function hai, okay, and how they are uh, made up of. Okay, so cytoskeleton, it consists of network of protein filaments which extends throughout the cytoplasm. The cytoskeleton, it provides structural framework for the cell serving as scaffold that determines the cell shape as well as the positions of the organelles. Now, in addition to this structural role, it is also responsible for cell movement and transport of organelles and other structures, uh, like the mitotic chromosomes through the cytoplasm. So we'll see that in the uh, upcoming lectures also, like when we talk uh, that, uh, like your blood vessels, okay? these are your blood vessels. And this is a site where the wound has happened. Now we know that these WBCs, these uh, uh, these the, the defensive cells, okay. So just say ye hoge, macrophages hoge. So how from blood vessels? So we know that the blood vessels are made up of endothelial cells. Okay. And now endothelial cells are there. So these macrophages, they will just you know go in between of these two cells these two endothelial cells I mean, I say, let us say that these are your endothelial cells now macrophages will move in between of this right and then it reaches its wound area now in order to go between of these two cells it has to the macrophage cell has to squeeze itself right in the beach interactions uh, we'll talk later about it. So those are known as the tight junctions. Okay. So these tight junctions are broken and the macrophages go, squeezes itself and goes inside of between these of between these two cells or now for this you should understand that like how so many uh, filaments are there or i mean maano mein hamara cell aise 3d structure mein aisa rehta hai kuch just imagine usko kitna squeeze karna padega apne aap ko so that between two cells ke wo beech mein se jayega right so when i say that when i say that the cell is getting squeezed okay what does it mean it means that there are so many proteins which are get which are getting polymerized which is getting depolymerized Okay, because suddenly there is a change in the 3D shape. You make it 2D and make it in the beach. And then it has to move like this. If it moves, it will go to its own area. Okay, so just get the scenario of uh, like how the cell moves. And in detail, like exactly inside a cell what is happening, we'll discuss about it. Okay. See over here. So these are the three principal components of your cytoskeleton. So first one is the actin, which is in the red color. Microtubules, these are the green color. So this you see during the mitosis. And the intermediate filaments, again in the green color. Okay. Now, are you able to uh, understand the differences over here? Among all these three, among actin, microtubules and intermediate filaments, Akshaya, can you tell me which protein looks more abundant? Microtubule. It is the actin actually. No issue. 
see the thing is uh actin microtubules if you see these are like uh in this figure right now you won't be able to understand but once i show you the uh, once uh, you know once this topic gets over i'll show you the video there you can see that from one place to another place let's say that this is this is your cell okay this is how your microtubules are like this essay single single sorry not the last one essay so if you remember when i was talking about the motor proteins microtubules motor proteins kinesin and dynein so they carry the vesicles essay in this direction and in this direction theek hai ab inke beech mein imagine actin filaments aise so just imagine between the highways you have got so many small road kya bolte hai kachcha rasta jaise nahi bolte hai to waisa so there are like many are there okay so you don't have any space in the nucleus uh, sorry in the cell you don't have any free space jahan bhi dekhoge bahut sare protein hai ab in sab ke beech mein you have your mitochondria peroxisomes plant cell hua to uh, chloroplast in sab ke beech mein aise fit hai aur rakhe hai theek hai this is where you have got the microtubules active filaments as well as intermediate filaments intermediate filaments aapke kam rehte hain but you have got more of active filaments theek hai we'll come to that like how you can calculate all those things okay so now first i'll talk about the active filaments then we'll go with the microtubules and the intermediate filaments okay so first about the active filaments so in the actin filaments they are the most abundant and what you have to remember is that the diameter okay as aapka actin hai so g actin is there so g stands for globular actin when it polymerize it becomes f actin okay so from g actin it becomes f actin globular to filamentous so filamentous means you have got g actin like this when they start coming together like this ऐसे लॉन्ग स्ट्रेच बनता है दैट बिकम्स योर फिलामेंटस इसलिए उसको हम लोग एफ एक्टिन बोलते हैं ठीक है प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस सेवन नैनोमीटर इन डायमीटर सो इफ यू सी लेटर दैट जी एक्टिन आपका सबसे छोटा है ठीक है सो पहले आपका एक्टिन आता है डायमीटर में उसके बाद आई एफ आता है उसके बाद माइक्रोट्यूबुल्स आता है ठीक है सो इन सभी में से माइक्रोट्यूबुल्स आपका सबसे बड़ा है okay so within the cell actin filaments also known as microfilaments they organize into high order structures which forms the uh, bundles also as well as 3d with the properties of the semi solid gel theek hai ab see guys imagine okay uh aapke paas pura cell hai and when i say that it has got the properties of semi solid gel what does it mean like if you press it what will happen it can just change its structure theek hai kyun because of this actin filaments ye actin filaments se jo 3d structure maintain kar rahe but it is also making sure that it is flexible aap jaisa chahe us shape ko kar sakte ho theek hai for example agar main bol rahi ki mera cell right now aisa hai if i put a pressure over here so the cell can become like this okay so this is what i meant like when i say that it has got the properties of semi solid gels okay did you get this point like what i wanted to convey here krishita yes ma'am okay 
Now, the assembly and dis disassembly of active filaments, they're cross-linking into bundles and networks or, and the other association with the cell structures like plasma and membrane, they all are regulated by actin binding proteins. So, we have already discussed about this actin binding proteins when we were talking about the ankyrin, band 3, glycophorin. We have studied all the actin binding proteins. Ke mein. If you remember, spectrin. Band 4.1. Yes, I'm going to mention Giata. Okay, so again, we'll go and discuss all this thing. So, they are the uh, important components of the actin cytoskeleton. Now, actin filaments are particularly abundant beneath the plasma membrane where they form network which provides mechanical support. Okay, determining the cell shape allows a movement of cell surface, thereby enabling cells to migrate, angle particles, and divide. Now, Please remember, when we say that this cell particularly, it is macrophages is eating the bacteria and all. So, how do you This is your bacteria. And let's say that this is your macrophages is there, right? So, now <clears throat> the macrophages understand that this, this bacteria, I need to angle this thing. Otherwise, it will spread the infection, right? So, for that, of course, it had these receptors present on the macrophages. It understands binding to the antigens, which is released by the bacteria. Okay, so it binds and then what happens is that it starts changing its shape. Kaise? Aise se banana shuru kar dega. So what is happening? Yaha ke aapke actin filaments ban rahe hai. Thik hai? Aur wo aise bante ja rahe, bante ja rahe. And yaha ke toot rahe hai. So what is happening? This portion is leaving the area and here it is forming. So jiske wajhe se aapka cell iske paas a rahe hai. So slowly, slowly it will come like this. So, this area is left here. Why? Because here all the active filaments are left here. And it is made here. And eventually, it will fuse here. A little bit of an idea came out. I will try to get the video. I will search for the video. If I get it, then it will be more clear. So, just imagine that... Uh, let us say this is a surface. How does the ball roll? It will move like this, right? So, this portion is coming down, this portion is coming up, correct? So, it means that here the new actin filaments are formed in order to push your cell like this. And here the actin filaments are getting broken down so that it can leave the surface. And plus, if your cell is your surface, it will be broken down. So, here inside these actin filaments are getting broken down. The interactions between the cell surface and here, extracellular surface, it is getting broken. Okay. And here, the upper portion. Here you are making a new one and here you are making new interactions. So that's how it rolls, it rolls like this. And the movement of the cell is happening. Okay. Did you get it? Little bit? Yes, sir. Yeah, good. Because this is really very interesting topic, the cytoskeleton and the cell movement. And once you get that clear picture, you will never forget in your life. So this is how in the electromicrograph your actor filaments you see. Okay. Ab, pe dekho, it does not have any say, proper connections. It's just randomly here, here, here it is there. So for me, for you right now, it looks like a random, right? But uh, but for the cell, it is more proper. It is not random. Okay, it is very organized. Ki haan, mujhe yahan pe active filament se ye because so, because this particular organelle is present here. I need to make sure that this organelle is present here and does not float away and go somewhere else. ठीक है, तो हर एक ऑर्गेनल का अपना डेस्टिनेशन है। जैसे भी हमने पढ़ा था, हर एक प्रोटीन का अपना सॉर्टिंग, टारगेटिंग डेस्टिनेशन है। इन द सेम वे द ऑर्गेनल आल्सो इन अ सेल हैज गोट इट्स प्रॉपर लोकेशन, ठीक है? नाउ, इंडिविजुअल एक्टिन मॉलिक्यूल्स आर ग्लोबुलर प्रोटीन्स ऑफ Okay, so here each actin monomer, which is known as the G-actin, it has got tight binding sites, which mediate head-to-tail interactions with the other two actin monomers. Now, from here, you should understand that when from G-actin, 
to from G acting to F, it is becoming. It means what? The polymerization is happening. Correct. Now, when I say that one actin monomer has got tight binding for the other two actin monomers, so what does it mean? It means the starting material at the beginning. It needs at least three actin monomers to come together, and then on to top of it, the other will join. ठीक है और ऐसे ऐसे आपका filament is बनेगा. So for starting, it needs at least three actin monomers. Okay. Now each monomer is rotated by one sixty six degrees, and because of which this finally the actin monomers appears to be like a helix, helix, double helix, uh, double stranded helix. तो वो थोड़ा सा ऐसे twisted twisted दिखेगा, ठीक है? Just because each एक अगर ये actin है, तो इसके one sixty degree, one sixty six degree में दूसरा है, फिर तीसरा है, फिर चौथा है, तो ऐसे ऐसे करते करते ही वो आपका double helical strand दिखता है, ठीक है? So take away message from here, this point and this point. Now, since all active monomers are oriented in the same direction, अब कैसा है? यहाँ से आपका तीन है, right? इस पे आपने add करना शुरू किया. Now, since everything is added in the one same direction, because of this, now there is a polarity. So जो आपने जहाँ से add किया है, that becomes your negative end. And where it is getting more addition of the G actin, that becomes your plus end. ठीक है इतना क्लियर है दीज पॉइंट्स आर क्लियर राइट बिकॉज अभी आगे और थोड़ा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड होता जाएगा बिकॉज वी नो एड सो मेनी थिंग्स टू नैट ना लुक इट ओवर हियर सो यू हैव गॉट द जी एक्टिंग लाइक दिस द मोमेंट इट स्टार्ट्स डाइमर एंड ट्राइमर जैसी बनता है नाउ इट इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फॉर्मिंग दी फिलमेंटस एक्टिव ठीक है, so minus end क्या हुआ जहाँ पे आपने शुरू किया G actin add करना, plus end where it will keep on adding the new G actin. Now the question is, अगर ये minus end और plus end है, do they get stable or not? Are you getting the point here? Do they get stable or not? क्या हम हमेशा इसमें add करते रहते हैं? अब ये minus end है क्या? Does it mean that from here we start the depolymerization? So we have got those proteins, G actin binding proteins, which stabilizes them. Because when I say that inside the cell, inside the cell, and I say that there are so many interactions of actin filaments like this, like this, like this, right? So if the cell is not moving, if there is no movement, there is no migration, okay, then it has to be stable, right? So, here I have capping proteins. Hai. Capping proteins, okay? Those are your actin binding capping proteins, which will bind at the minus end and at the plus end so that they become stable. As it will bind it. Okay, and this is the structure of your actin uh, protein and at the center you can see ATP binding is happening. Now let's see what is the role of ATP in the actin uh, microfilaments. Okay, so we'll see when it is bound to ATP and when this gets hydrolysis, kya hota hai? And it's very simple concept, her jage wahi hai. Like if it is ATP bound, then it results in the polymerization. And if the hydrolysis happens, okay, it becomes GADP. Then there the depolymerization will start. Okay. The first step in actin polymerization, it is known as nucleation. So this is what when uh, I was just telling that where three G actin uh, proteins are required. So that is nucleation. Jahan pe aapka फिर माइक्रोफिलामेंट बनना शुरू होगा, ठीक है? सो दिस इज़ दी न्यूक्लिएशन, द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन दी एक्टिन पॉलिमराइजेशन। नाउ व्हाट इज़ हैपनिंग इज़ दैट द एक्टिन, द जी एक्टिन व्हिच इज़ बाउंड टू एटीपी, ओके? दे विल गो एट दी प्लस एंड, ओके? एंड एसोसिएट विद द ग्रोइंग Okay. Now, as soon as the hydrolysis of ATP is happening, G ADP, <coughs> sorry, G ADP बन रहा है. What do we see? That it loses its affinity 
and starts depolymerizing. Again, there is exchange of ATP for ADP. Kya ho raha hai? G actin aa and again it is adding over here. So this is like a treadmill. Yani ki hum yahan add karte ja rahe hai, yahan se hum minus karte ja rahe. Again adding and again yahan se minus karna. And that's why it is known as the treadmilling uh, of the actin filament polymerization. Is it clear? Okay. Now, within the cell, the assembly and the disassembly of actin filament is regulated by actin binding proteins. So, guys, we have to or the proteins ke naam hai, jo hume yaad rakne, and it is really, really, really very important because directly they ask. So, some of these proteins initiate the formation of actin filaments or stimulate their growth, and the others are there which will stabilize, that is preventing the dissociation of actin monomers. So, this is what I just mentioned that there are stabilizing proteins known as actin binding capping proteins. Okay. And there are certain proteins which will help in the disassemble. Yani ki wo depolymerization ke liye help okay? So, the principal proteins which stimulate the initiation and elongation of these actin filaments are formin and are. 2 by 3 complex. Okay. So, ARP is your actin related protein 2 and 3 complex. Please remember ye do formin and the ARP 2 by 3 complex where ARP stands for actin related protein. So, the formins are the family proteins which will bind ATP actin and nucleate the initial polymerization of actin monomers. So, now we just saw that when nucleation is happening, it means G actin. Okay three molecules of G-actins are coming together to start the actin polymerization. Now, this is again, see, in ko bhi ek base hai ki kahaan se hum shuru kare. Hawa mein to ho nahi sakta. You need certain base onto which these three G-actin molecules can sit and start nucleation, right? So, that base is provided by the proteins formants. Okay? Now, they then move along the growing filament, adding the new monomers to the plus end. Then they start adding like this. Okay. Now, formins nucleate long unbranched actin filaments, which make up the stress fibers, the contractal ring, philopodia, and the thin filaments of the muscles. Please remember, so in future, if you ask that contractile ring or philopodia, as you know, that this, you know, that is the movement, uh, the extensions of the cell. Right? This is cell, hai, uske lambe se, se extensions nikalte kisi kisi cell. Ke. So that is because of the actin filaments. Now, in that actin filaments, also, you need to understand that it is your long filaments which does not have got the branching. So, as a single sa fiber. Rahega, aise. So these are your actin stress fibers okay so they are not branch aise aise lambe lambe jo aise rahenge those are your actin stress fibers okay now formins are associated with another actin binding protein known as profilin now this will bind actin monomers and stimulates the exchange of bound adp for atp so just now we saw that uh, in order to start uh, adding the g actin g bound ATP actin at the plus end, there is an exchange happening, right? ATP, sorry, ADP is getting exchanged with the ATP. Now, that exchange is done by the profilin. Okay? So, it means what? Profilin is helping in the polymerization. Okay? By increasing the concentration of your ATP bound actin. Did you get it? So, Abhiham, like, let me summarize for you guys over here. Formin is may, it's forming the base onto which the three actin binds. Okay. Profilin is helping in bringing the G actin bound to ATP. Okay. ARP 2 by 3. This complex helps in the branching of the actin filaments. So, right now, what we have learned is about the long stretch, uh, sorry, long stretch of unbranched actin where formin profilin is present. Okay. For branching, we need ARP 2 by 3 complex. Clear? Is this much clear? The 
functions of R2 by 3 formin and propylin, guys? Yes, Tanvi, did you able, uh, uh, were you able to follow? Yeah, ma'am. Cool. Now, look at, look at over here. So, we are going to discuss now formins, R2 by 3 and the propylene, okay? <clears throat> So we have got a formin dimer. So if you remember, this is the base, okay, to which your ATP actin is coming. So one, two, and three. So this is where the nucleation has started, okay, and onto which your more further actin filaments are joined. Ye clear hai, right? Now look at over here. So we have got the ADP actin. It is getting exchanged with the ATP with the help of the another protein called propylin. Okay. Now, so we have got the plus end where we are adding more ATP actin. Right. And this is your minus end where the ATP hydrolysis is happening and it is your G with ADP. Okay. So this is your negative end. This is your plus end. Now, R2 by 3 complex is there, which goes and binds to your <coughs> actin filaments. Now, what is happening over there? It is initiating the formation of the branch. So, we have what we Though it is having here, addition of your G actin is going on over here. Here also, another branch is starting like this. So, at the end, we see something like this. Okay. Now, one more thing what you have to remember here is that R2 by 3 complex will only bind at the near your polymerizing G actin. Okay, that means it will be happening only near the plus end. Obviously, right, because this is eventually gonna uh, leave the association, right? Okay, is this much clear? Clear to everyone? Yeah. Now the question should come over here. Like how it is going to leave when it is bound with the formin dimer. Yeah, base mein hai na, yaha pe abhi bhi present. Correct. So when it is required that depolymerization should happen, then the base, the formin dimer will be removed. Okay. And then they start getting depolymerized. Okay. So. Here, the R2 by 3 proteins initiate growth of the branch actin filaments, which play key role in driving the cell movement at the plasma membrane. So, this is how it is going to help actually in the movement. I'll try to explain with the diagram and uh, in future, if I get a video, I'll show to you. Okay. So, let's say that this is your cell surface onto which the particular cell is going to move. Okay. So just imagine a ball hai aapka aur jab aap usko roll karte to kaise hoga when it is rolling in this direction. So these areas will come in contact over here. Right? Ye aise move karega. So ye aapka yaha pe roll hoke ye portion jo hai ye aapka niche aega. Correct? And these portions ye wala jo already contact mein hai wo upar ki taraf aega. Right? What you have to understand here is that the cell surface is having here the integral proteins and all, right? So these proteins, all the receptors are going to make interactions with the surface, extracellular surface, okay? And here, the already interactions are, you will break it. This is the like outside the cell, what is happening, okay? Now, inside the cell, let's talk about inside the cell. So inside the cell, if this is there, so here you can see that your actin filaments are like spread. Hai, hai? Now, this portion, this portion is going to come here, right? This portion ko mujhe yahan pe lana hai, push karna hai, cell ko move karana hai. So what will happen? This branch karta hua, your actin filaments aise aise isko push karega. Okay, yahan se. And what is happening over here? Ye aapka gaya bune lag jayega. Aise. Okay. 
So eventually what is happening then? When I'm making here the actin filaments, this portion will come down. And here there is no actin. Okay. So what will happen? Ye jo portion aapka leave kar dega, chhod dega. And ye portion aapka niche a jayega. So eventually this is coming down. So abhi ye niche a gaya hai. Next kya hoga? Yaha pe aapke actins banenge. Aur ye gaya bo jayenge. Pher ye aayega niche. So this is like how a ball is rolling. So aapke aise aise actin filaments bante jayenge. Peechhe wale tootte jayenge. And that's how your cell is moving. Aya thoda sa idea. Yes. 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 Good. It's really important to get that idea. Okay. So this is how the actin filaments looks like. So when I was talking about the stress fibers, right? So those are the bundles. As you straight, straight, rahenge aapke. And of course, with each actin, you are going to have the cross-linking proteins present. Theke? Otherwise, what will happen? The bundles khul jayenge aapke, right? Wo idhar udhar chale jayenge, scatter ho jayenge. Whenever we have bundles, what we do? We tie it. Right, with some rope or whatever. In the case of the cell, these stress fibers, they are actually interconnected with each other with the help of the again acting binding proteins. Okay. Now, here again, if suppose network banana. Hai. So, as I was, see, this is how SHO network dikta. Ye ho gaya aapka stress fibers, single, single. Yaha pe aapka network chalu hai, actin ka. This is your stress fibers. Here, your network is. So for us, it looks like that is you know random. Like uh, uh, it's like zigzag. कहीं से भी कुछ भी cross connection बने हुए, right? But for the cell, it is all planned. It's not random. It is like organized. So here you can see so many actins, actin filaments are going here, 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 and each one is actually being connected. Can you see? So with the help of the cross-linking proteins, everything is being connected. Asa nahi hai ki that it is, you know, randomly associated. Now, there is another actin binding proteins which remodel or modify, okay, rather than stabilizing. And that is your coffelin. Okay, so actin binding protein, coffelin. Now, which is going to sever the actin filaments? So, sever the actin filaments, matlab, it is going to break the filament. Profilin kya kar raha tha aapka? It was helping in addition of your G actin bound to ATP. Correct? Coffelin kya karega? It is gonna break it. Okay? Because of which it is going to generate new ends of the filaments, which are then accessible either for the depolymerization from the minus end or for the growth of the new actin monomers to their plus end. So here, see, ye aapka minus end okay, ye aapka plus end ho gaya. Now, let's say that there were these stabilizing proteins because of which minus end is aapka depolymerization nahi ho raha tha or plus end mein aapka more addition nahi ho raha tha. Theek hai? Now, let's say that there is a coffelin coming. Coffelin aega, wo kya karega? Actin filaments ko beech mein tod dega. Okay? So, what will happen because of this? There will be a minus end generated and the plus end generated. So, plus end mein kya hoga? You can have more addition of your G actin bound to ATP or at the minus end, uh, the G, sorry, G actin bound to ADP will start getting depolymerized. Okay. So now I hope the functions of functions of formants functions of formants is clear. Profilin is clear. ARP two by three is clear. And then last we have talked about coffelin, right? I hope the functions of all the four is clear. Formin, it forms a dimer base onto which your nucleation initiates, right? Profilin helps in binding of your GATP in the plus end. Like it keeps on helping in the addition of your uh, plus end, may add karta, right? It is helping in the polymerization. ARP 2 by 3 is helping in the branching. Coffelin is helping in the, oh, sorry, it uh, breaks the actin filament so that the polymerization and depolymerization both can happen. Guys, is it clear? Akshaya? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, this is a video 
let's see how our understanding is okay so just dekho ki kaise aapka imagination and you know in reality how it is happening it is matching or not okay so let's see this video <clears throat> There is no sound, okay? Now it has become ADP active. So yellow color they have shown as your uh atp bound actin so the moment 3 g actin will come together the nucleation will start so you can see like how plus and is and minus and is form minus and say depolymerization is happening this is your actin treadmilling like you know one end it's keep on adding the another end it's keep on depolymerizing See, in between the coffin is coming and it is breaking the filaments. Okay. Yes, guys. Any doubts in this uh, topic today? <clears throat> 